Hey guys, what's going on? It's Team Fox, and today I'm going to give you guys a quick gameplay arcade run with the new DLC Gundam X, and I'm also going to be talking about how I personally feel about the new DLC as well, because I was given the opportunity to actually play against them right when the DLC came out at like 3 o'clock at night or something. Also, a quick shout out to Dark God Slayer 31 for helping me do an arcade run again on such a short notice. I really appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. You're like freaking awesome. But anyways, let's get to the video topic. Okay, Gundam X is actually just like how I predicted he would turn out to be. He's like legitimately like an RX-78 with a satellite cannon. And of course, you can turn into a Gundam Divider X if you want to. Now, I have like a really strong opinion about that. Like, honestly, it really like bothers me why they would make him be able to do that. But still have the original Gundam X Divider in the game. I mean, it really does seem pointless to even have, like, that option available, because it really just does seem stupid, in my opinion. I mean, like, why would you have the original unit, and then you're able to turn into that original unit with a DLC unit? I mean, no one's really going to play the X Divider if you can just play the Gundam X, which has the X Divider. I mean, the whole topic and whole, like, idea behind the mobile suit is, like, really ridiculous. But that doesn't mean he's like a bad unit. I mean, it's really good. I have played it and I really do like enjoy actually using it. It's like super fun and I love being able to like switch between the two mobile suits for like different situations. And Shamelessly is also one of the most funnest mobile suits to play in this game in my opinion. Like, oh my god. Like, I remember when the first time I actually played this mobile suit, I was like kind of like not even able to control the divider because I don't usually play mobile suits with that kind of movement. But as I got used to the movements, I really did start to like the movement style. Like, the thing is, with X Divider, like, you can't just, like, play it like a normal mobile suit. I guess you have to consistently use the abilities as you're, like, moving around. Because it does, like, run out of boost extremely fast in, like, good situations or, like, dangerous situations, to be more specific, where people are just, like, legitly gunning you down constantly. I mean, the thing is about X Divider is he has a lot of gun power. But his movement is like really similar to the G gun and mobile suits, which I highly dislike, but I got used to it. I mean, the thing with him is that you have to consistently put out like pressure to the enemy. I mean, it sounds really stupid, but it does work. Like, I found it to be true. Whereas, if you consistently shoot out like bullets and use your little two blades and also use the uh, little scatter beam. It really does like put a lot of pressure on the enemy because he does have a lot of good abilities and like especially the range abilities are freaking amazing guys it's ridiculous and also you can switch off to the Gundam X of course and you can just like play like an original RX-78 or something and I really it's not bad like it's not bad at all and I find it to be incredibly easy to use it's like awesome for every situation you can possibly think of. Um, I was having like a sort of questionable time deciding whether or not I should like, you know, buy the Altron or the Gold Frame Streaming to Custom because I bought like a little cheap ass Hong Kong car that had like, I don't know, um, enough to buy like three mobile suits but I kind of fucked up in the beginning because I, I like gave in and bought Quan Chi Wing Zero because I thought the freaking mobile suit was sick and it really is awesome and fun to play. So I lost one out of three mobile suit options to buy. My intentions were to originally buy like all three at once, but you know I kind of caved into the Quad Wing Zero. I mean it was worth it. So I can either buy the um, Altron or the Gold Frame Stream Mini Custom now. So I don't really know what to pick. I'm actually leaning on towards the Gold Frame Stream because really I didn't really give it a chance in my opinion. I I kind of like ashed on it for like a really terrible reason but yeah I'm gonna give it a chance I'm gonna play it I was playing the original gore frame earlier and honestly it was incredibly fun it was really fun so I might actually buy the gold frame instead of the Altron because I only have one option now which is really sad but whatever also today I was playing online and there was like legitly Altron spam everywhere everybody was using Altron I was like, is Altron that popular that nobody actually wants to buy the like Gundam X or the Gold Frame? I do see why people want to buy Altron because apparently there's a lot of Gundam Wing fans. I don't really like Gundam Wing. Well, I do like the like character art and the guns behind Gundam Wing, but when I actually watch Gundam Wing, it's like incredibly stupid. Like no offense, but it's like so boring and the animation is like ass. 
like legit ass. I can't stand it. I can stand the original Gundam for some reason, but I can't like legitly watch Gundam Wing. I don't know why. But the music is nice though. But whatever. Anyways, Altron from what I saw is like freaking crazy as hell, dude. Like oh my gosh. Like you can see him do like uh hops. He can do some weird ass animations, he can send out boomerangs. Uh like he's legitly fast as hell. So I may buy him, but I may buy Gold Frame. I don't know. It's a really hard decision, honestly. Gold Frame has that freaking awesome ass stun and he has that ability where he stealths or something and rushes toward the enemy really fast. And that's like incredibly useful if you guys are having or like you know when you're in that situation where you're like beam spamming like another guy or something he's beam spamming you and you run out of boost and whenever you guys run out of boost you can use that uh, stealth ability like rush in his face and like claw him down or something. So I might buy the gold frame for that situation. And plus, every single unit or DLC unit that's currently available right now is a 2.5k, so cost isn't really affecting my decision about that as well. I don't know, what do you guys think I should buy? If you are actually watching this video up to this point, please leave a comment below and I will kind of base my decision off that or something, I guess. Oh yeah, also, during some times in this video, you would see me like try to use my ultimate attack and kind of like fuck up, especially during your last boss fight. And I have like a good explanation for that. Alright, so when you use your uh, ult for Gundam X, it will usually track for about 0.6 seconds or something and then it will stop. And also at the last fight, when I actually use my ultimate attack, the fucking boss, like, he was flying down. I thought he was going to land flat on the ground, but of course, bullshit happens. He like fucking bounces off the wall somehow and I miss. I was like so pissed off. And there was like another time, I think, during the first boss against that freaking huge ass tentacle thing from the F91 series or something where I missed too. I was like really angry but I think I wasn't in red lock. So that might have been reason behind that but whatever. Anyways it really does seem like the DLC has brought some sort of like happiness vibe back to the AXVS community or something I guess because everybody seems happy now that the new DLC is out. And honestly, when you go to the lobby now, all you're going to see is like fucking Altrons everywhere mostly, and maybe some Venomaxes, I guess, but mostly Altrons, because people apparently love Altron. But yeah, I got kind of a good vibe too. I'm starting to enjoy this game a lot more now. I'm starting to like change the way I act, whatever, I guess. I'm like way more positive about the game now. I don't really give a shit about people losing. I'm mean, like, whatever, you know. I just don't really care anymore. It's a freaking game pretty obvious that like nobody really cares so I guess I shouldn't care I suppose but I'm also gonna be like still competitive you know if the lobby is full of like competitive players I'll put that competitive mindset in but if it's a bunch of people who are like you know actually you know playing the game for fun or something like they don't really get a chance to play it often they just play once in a while I really don't care I won't get mad or anything I'll just be like okay it's cool whatever you know I just don't give a shit anymore but the one thing I can't stand is the fucking trolls of this game. Like, honestly, you guys may not see them, but they're fucking everywhere. Especially that fucking Senya guy. He's so annoying, dude. Like, I was playing that match or something, I remember a few months ago, and he was just, like, fucking target spamming people, and I was like, what are you doing, dude? And he's, like, fucking just acting like a complete retard or something. I swear to God, he has, like, a fucking little machine or something that he personally built to, like, freaking tap his, like, target switch button so freaking fast because I know for a fact you can't like switch that fast because I've tried to actually try to mimic him and I can't do it even though I, I literally press the button fast and I can't do it so he has a fucking machine just like constantly pressing down or something I don't know it's weird it's freaking weird dude I'm tired of Senya he's like drink bleach and rip his disc in freaking half dude like really I don't understand why people buy this freaking game which costs like 60 bucks initially just to like fucking troll people online. It's not cool, it's not funny, it's like legitly retarded. Like if you guys saw my previous video, well not previous video, but like that troll video I made for No Com Sunday, which is a series I made for Sunday because I don't have time to make videos on weekends. It is like legitly showcasing his ass, like fucking trolling all day. You guys might want to watch that if you want to like laugh for like a minute or something. I also made another episode where I did a uh, like a perfect match with double X or something. It was really cool. The ending was really nice and the finishing like melee hit was like awesome. Oh yeah, another thing I want to talk about is Twitch. Like some of you may have seen my comments on previous videos of like 
follow me on Twitch, guys. Follow Train. Blah 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 blah. Like honestly, I might not stream now because they just like made something recent where they put copyright policies on Twitch, which is like incredibly stupid. Like I initially wanted to stream on Twitch so I didn't have to worry about copyright because I could play like music in the background and all that cool stuff. But honestly, it does really make my decision to stream like kind of you know not gonna stream. But yeah, maybe I'll still stream. I don't know. Because, like, it really sucks to have to play Gundam without music. I mean, really, Gundam or Gundam Machine versus Full Boost in general is, like, kind of a drag if you don't have music playing, really. So, I might have to work on that. And also, my internet connection sucks asshole. Like, honestly, it's, like, legit shit. I have, like, 1.8 upload speed. Well, not upload speed, but, like, 1.8 Mbps, whatever you call it. It's, it's really bad, trust me, it's like legitly horrible, that's why it takes like, I don't know, 6 hours to upload videos that are like, I don't know, 10 minutes long. And really, the thing about that is so annoying. And when you guys see this video, it's probably gonna be like, I don't know, August 7th, which is my birthday. Um, <clears throat> say happy birthday to me, by the way, yeah. Anyways, I pretty much covered what I want to talk about. So, really, I just want to buy, like, a good melee suit, because Altron and Gold Frame are both good melees, but I don't know what to pick. I'm a sort of a guy that likes to use, like, melee suits that can have, like, amazing mobility, and especially hops that can help you get towards your enemy, which so happens to be, like, you know, a ranged mobile suit, such as, like, Strike Freedom or something. It really does make the difference, and making the melee mobile suits a lot easier to play. Because, let's be honest, this game is a fucking ranged game, and melee suit versus ranged suit, it's not that good, honestly. It's a ridiculous pairing system when it comes to actually fighting in the game, which is, like, honestly really ridiculous, but whatever. And it really helps with having melee mobile suits with ranged attacks to sort of, like, close in easier. But a good example of a fail melee suit is Epion. Like, honestly, Epion's not bad, but it's tough as hell to actually get close to people or like sort of have a good defensive like type of thing to help you out because if you're playing Epion it's pretty much YOLO honestly you target someone I mean you can quickly go in hit someone and then like whip them off and go away but what if they're both like some huge ass high pressure range units then you are pretty much out of luck honestly and that sucks ass but yeah this video is coming to a close and as always guys thank you for watching please leave a like if you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys later